Hello folks, a very very warm welcome in this uh, festive morning. So we have a festival in our country today, today a uh, historic festival and uh, uh, many people are busy preparing for the festivities but uh, this year we don't have festi festivities. We don't have because of some morning period is, it is. So that's why I, uh, I thought that it would be, uh, be better to record a video. And this video is uh, actually a correction video. I uploaded uh, the solution, this solution about uh, about uh, two years back and uh, it was taken very well uh, in these two years uh, one person from UK he said that uh, what I have I had done was a mistake he said and uh, I didn't find any so I uh, asked him to to teach me or to discuss with me the correct option he didn't reply and a few uh, weeks back one of my new students uh, in AS uh, Mr. Fang Zili uh, so he's a Chinese uh, he's a Chinese in our country in our country in Nepal so he said that uh, I was making a mistake and I looked at the video further but uh, I couldn't find any. Again he said uh, uh, you definitely have committed a mistake and uh, I said no. Then what I said was please send me a screenshot where I had done that mistake. So he sent me that and then only I realized where was the mistake. So <clears throat> that's why I am correcting uh, this thing on the board. Previously I had done on paper and now on the board. So this is the correction video. So it uh, says uh, it belongs to 2015, May, June, uh, paper 1, 2, and the question number is uh, 23. 23. Uh, as you can see, it is about a certain pipe-like structure there. Uh, it says the diagram represents a steel tube, steel tube with a wall thickness W, which is a small compared to the diameter of the tube. So the diameter is whole this thing. This is the diameter. And it says uh, the thickness of the wall is small compared to the diameter, and it, uh, it uh, seems so. I have made it that way. The tube is under tension caused by a force T. So we have the tension force here, which causes which causes uh, uh, stress in the material. So uh, <coughs> material uh, to reduce the stress in the tube. To reduce the stress, it is proposed to thicken the wall. Proposed to thicken the wall, so make the wall thick to reduce the stress. The tube diameter and tension being constant, so we have to make this D constant and uh, and and, and uh, the tension constant, which wall thickness gives half the stress. So we have to reduce the stress by thickening the wall, and uh, to reduce the stress to half, we have to find which wall thickness gives that half stress. So uh, <coughs> so for that, uh, let me uh, draw this wall. Uh, draw this wall in a uh, in a in a linear view like this, like this this right view. So I'll make the wall a bit thicker, thick, thicker. So this is the outer wall. This is the inner wall. To make the tube look thicker, uh, to show the thickness clearly, I am drawing the lumen very small. Lumen means inner diameter. So this is the uh, this is the W thing here, W thing, and the diameter is this thing. So this is the diameter. This is the diameter. Some students argue that uh, why is why don't you take D as the uh, inner diameter? But I said to him was uh, people do not make it constant. They make the outer diameter constant, outer diameter constant because the pipe has to fit somewhere. There is some spacing there, some space allotted for that. So we have to make the outer diameter constant. So is D here? Is W here? Uh, let me say this is R. So this thing is R. So when I do calculations uh, in area, I can use pi r square. So this thing will be R, so from here to here, it is R, it is R. So then, the, the radius of this thing, the radius of this thing will be equal to, radius of the internal diameter, internal space, this will be equal to, it is R minus W, R minus W. So I have got uh, radius of the outer, outer uh, border and uh, radius of the lumen, outer is R and the, for the lumen it is R minus W. Now. The stress on this thing is equal to the stress on this thing is equal to tension force divided by divided by area area covered by the material area covered by the material only because uh, uh, the force on the force applies only on the material it's not on the air it's on the space it's only on the material so that's why I have to do it this way and that's equal to that's equal to T by area covered by this outer area so area outer outer minus area of the lumen area of the lumen the lumen is the internal space 
is the same thing that happens in our blood vessels. So when the lumen uh, decreases because of a deposit of cholesterol, cholesterol, the blood pressure increases. So it is, uh, uh, they, they suggest that uh, we should uh, uh, prevent the deposit of uh, cholesterol. So like this, so that's equal to, equal to, it is T here, the outer area will be equal to pi into radius square, pi into radius square, so it is pi r square minus, the area of the lumen is equal to, is equal to pi, then r minus w square, w square. So this gives us, this will give us equal to t divided, divided pi r square minus pi r square minus 2 r w plus w square. It will further give me, further give me t divided pi r square minus. So let's open this thing up. Is a pi r square plus 2 pi r w minus w square uh, minus w square so i think it is k sorry it is pi r square i forgot to use this so minus pi r square plus <sighs> minus pi uh, pi 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 w square so is it correct i think so it's correct so minus So this gives us, so we have to cancel this and this, this and this. Now since W is a very small quantity, W is a very small quantity compared to all dimensions, we neglect this W square. It will be decimal form actually, point something something. So when you square it, uh, that quantity will be even smaller. So that's why we neglect this thing and uh, with the neglect, neglecting, it gives us T by 2 pi R W. So the stress is equal to T by 2 pi R W. Now we have to change the uh, change the thickness to have uh, to have to have to reduce the stress to half. So if we, we do now, now stress new stress new stress new is equal to is equal to the tension force is same. We must have two pi r w new w new, and uh, this is stress new is equal to one by two of previous stress. This is stress new is equal to one by two of the previous stress. So it is said here. Of the stress and that's equal to so I'll put this value here value here it is T by 2 pi R W now let me compare all these things T and T goes 2 pi R 2 pi R goes and uh, 2 pi R goes so it is I forgot to put this half equal to 1 by 2 into so T T goes 2 pi R 2 pi R goes what it means is W new W new equal to equal to 2 into W so it is simply though it is denominator we can just reverse it so what i will have is or 1 by w new is equal to 1 by 2 w which gives us which gives us w new is equal to 2 w so to reduce the stress to half we should have we should have w new equal to 2 w so we have to uh, increase this thickness to double the previous value so that's the solution to this question and the solution is in choice number C. So in previous reading also, the answer was C, but uh, what happened was uh, uh, I did not follow the correct symbols. I used, uh, uh, I, I said that D was the radius and uh, uh, instead of R, I used D and I was using the formula pi d squared by four. So that is again a contrast. So if I even, I had uh, used an uh, improper symbol, I should have continued with that, but uh, Things got mixed up and I made mistakes. So, so a great load gets off from my heart, from my mind, because I was wondering what was the mistake there. So the mistake was there, and I have, uh, I have uh, corrected you. So hope uh, this goes well with uh, all of you observers. Thank you.